Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. I want you to do a reading for Aquarius every day. Uh, hold me to it guys, alright? So if you don't see the reading come out, say something. Be nice, but say something, right? Uh, thank you for being here guys. Um, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So, Aquarius, it looks like, you know, the agents of um, division, uh, change, uh, evil are out, okay? And they're out to get you. But that's okay because a lot of you are protected. A lot of you are doing your protective work, saying your prayers, affirmations. You're really standing in that energy of uh, you are more than a conqueror. You know why you're here. You know you're on the winning side, whatever side that is. Um, hopefully, it's the side of good. But it looks like so many things are happening in your life. There's so many people talking about you, against you, wanting uh, ill wishes towards you. Um, so you never know what you know what kind of conversations uh, people are having behind your back. Uh, in private, in secret. So to combat that, you always want to be affirming to the universe the most positive things about you. Also, thanking the universe for, for protection uh, for all that they have done and all that they will do, okay? Um, let's see what's going on for my Aquarius. What's going on for, okay. First card, the star. You know, can't make this stuff up. You are so in alignment with yourself, Aquarius, with the universe, what the universe has to offer you, what they're bringing you. Um, you really accept it, you for you. You're not trying to be anything else, anybody else. Um, you just understand. You understand the purpose. You understand the assignment, right? Um, you understand that uh, you are here for a reason. You are the star car. People look up to you. Look up to the what? The stars. Um you understand that some of you have platforms, okay? You have following. Uh, some of you use technology uh, to reach other people, uh, or you will be using technology to reach people. Your uh, product service, I just heard this, product service will reach people, will help people. Um, you'll be bringing people uh, to, to their divinity. Uh, to divine power, opening them up to themselves, uh, to what the universe has for them. Uh, the star card, uh, you are one of the protectors of the world, of the universe, excuse me, of the world. Um, you know, um, on the world card, it talks about, you know, uh, it has the four uh, fixed elements. Um, what is that? The eagle, the bull, the hawk. I can't think of the other animal. It, it, it just, I just lost it. But it, it talks about, you know, um, God sending those animals or those angels out to the four corners of the earth uh, to protect of the earth, the world from evil. And Aquarius, you are, you are one of those uh, signs that, you know, revolutionary change. You bring people enlightenment. You bring them water, you know, of the water bearer. You bring them light. You bring them hope. You know, people look up to. You know, so, Aquarius, you're in direct alignment with yourself. Let's see what else. Uh, the Queen of Cups. Wow. Can't make it up. The Queen of Cups says that um, you have something to offer to the world. Uh, psychic abilities are being heightened to you. Downloads. Um, your, your personality is unfathomable. Like people can't wrap their mind around the fact that you're so, you have so many different facets of you, your personality, what you give, what you do. Once a person thinks they know you, then you show them another side of you. And then they think they know you, then you show them another side. It's so many different layers to you, Aquarius. Um, especially my Aquarius woman, but this is not just a uh, representative of the Aquarius woman. Uh, the queen of cups, she's a fixed energy. She typically represents Scorpio. A lot of people say cancer, but uh, the queen of cups represents Scorpio. Uh, one of your uh, fixed uh, brothers and sisters, um, Scorpio. Um, the queen of cups talks about life purpose, uh, but life purpose through intuition, um, compassion and intellect 
okay it also talks about at this point right now aquarius you could be keeping to yourself um you're not really open to give your cup away to give your emotions away uh, but people are coming to you uh maybe to for you to be a listening ear for you to give that good advice um you have the right thing to say you always know the right thing to say you know what to do um people lots of people know you but they don't know you um people find it easy to talk to you to befriend you okay uh, the queen of cups makes friends easily okay uh, she's a she's very personable she's very approachable all right um again listening to your intuition aquarius what else does uh, the universe want to tell the aquarius collective okay we have wow the lovers there's going to be some divine destined meeting uh, now this could be for love this could be in career because it talks about career or love um there's something that you're supposed to be a part of with the lover's card even with those people or those energies that are trying to keep you away from your destiny and uh, you understand uh, why you're meeting what you're doing where you're going you understand uh, why you met a specific person place or yeah knight of cups there will be some offer made to you now this could be in career or finance career or love the knight of cups also talks about uh, coming up with new creative ways to earn money it also talks about proposal and maybe even someone sweeping you off your feet wanting you to fall in love with them if you had to walk away from somebody separate yourself from someone it looks as if you knew what the relationship was about before they did before they were awakened to the destiny the divinity in meeting you now they get it that you guys are apart that they didn't choose you somebody didn't choose you and now they are suffering the repercussions of the the lover's card the lover's card when it shows up it says that there's significant meeting, okay? Again, it could be for career, finance, or love. But in that meeting, there's a choice to be made. And it says when you make the wrong choice, the repercussions, um, the consequences behind that are uh, long-lasting. Um, they are uh, very pertinent. Like, you can't get away from it. Um, you, you know that you, you did something incorrectly. It's almost as if you have to go back and correct yourself the lovers can easily turn into the devil where you made the wrong choice uh you were tempted away from because the lovers sometimes can talk about something someone coming in between a divine and destined meeting see the divinity is in the meeting it's not in the fact that you're going to meet this person and then um somehow the universe makes you stay with them and makes them choose you no all the universe or divinity did was put you and specific person place or thing in the right they put you in that person or that thing uh in the same place um at the right time that was it that's all they had that was and then they took their hands off of it now what you and this person did um after the meeting that's called free will and you still have that and other people have it too um so it looks as if maybe you knew what a relationship was before the other person did. Now they're awakening to why they met you, the significance of it, especially if they chose wrong, or they chose something else, or they chose another person, or they chose to be single, or they chose to play games, or whatever it is they chose to do. It looks as if those repercussions, those consequences are really resting, dwelling with them. They can't get over you. Okay. What else does uh, the universe want to tell the Aquarius? There's some divine destined meeting too that's going to offer you um, new opportunity to make money, maybe to be creative in your approach in terms of income too. Um, all right, let's see. The Two of Swords, yep. And the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so there's definitely someone here who um, they know that they want to reconcile with you, okay? They know they want to reconcile with you, but uh, they're not sure of how, when. They're not sure um, if, if you'll even be open to it. They also are putting it off because in this reconciliation, there has to be okay a proposal made. Somebody has to focus on negotiation. They have to give up something or compromise. 
three of pentacles showing up. It's like, there's somebody here who wants to, somebody's here doing some really high quality work. Other people don't like it. Okay. With the two of swords. There's also somebody here who has, they're trying to figure out how they can share their life with you or vice versa. How um, you can share their life with them or how you guys can come together and actually do something. Whether it's get married, move in together, have a baby, dog, cat, I don't know. But it's like this person is thinking about how do we share our lives with one another? How does do we come together and create? Because we can't just keep on this same path. This person is also wondering if you're with someone else, um, they could be spying on you. They could be looking in on you. You could also have a secret admirer. There's somebody who's wondering how they could come to you, share their life with you, or share their devotion or their likeness or their love towards you. Um, there's somebody also here who, um, like the perfect timing, something about timing and fate changes, changes in social circles too. Um, your psychic abilities could be heightened or there's someone around you who their psychic abilities are now being heightened. I don't know if you were speaking to each other uh, via telekinesis, telepathy, maybe even astro projection. Um, but it's like you guys have a real strong um, connection, real strong union. It could be that this is a high level soulmate, twin flame, whatever you subscribe to. It's like somebody is planning to come towards you. Uh, you're also planning to make some moves and uh, waiting for the right time and waiting for that knee jerk opportunity to move on. Wow. As I say that the six of swords, somebody's also waiting for the knee jerk opportunity to come to you, maybe to come back together. Um, they, they may be saying, look, is this best for us to be back together? I want to get over the past hurt, the games I played, the lies I told the the aggressive nature I took in order to get what it is I wanted from you. Um, somebody said false victory. Like they thought they won, but they really didn't win. Um, they feel lost without you. Wow. Somebody has a really singular love for you and they're finding you desirable, irresistible, uh, unattainable. Also, because you're keeping your distance, you're doing nothing in order to be with this person, talk to this person. Um, you're not even giving anything on an energetic level. Uh, and that's why this person wants to reignite, start something with you, do something with you, come towards you, travel towards you, give you something, throw their hat in the ring. They're up for the challenge that is you because right now you could be the king of swords. You understand uh, some of you are just being very motivated and ambitious in terms of your career and finance. You turn hurt, pain, shame to win victory triumph in your career of finance you said you know what i've been here before i can either stay down and downtrodden or i could just get up and put all of this energy into something that i can control and that is my career and my finances it looks as if somebody wants to come back to you and try to persuade you by way of their words uh, they're determined to persuade you to be back with them, give them another chance, give them another try. They want to call a truce within this uh, this disconnect, this disconnection that you two have. And while they really want to reconcile, they feel like you're the one that got away. They understand that if we could, if we come back together, this is what they may be saying or they want to say to you. If we come back together, I understand that we need to do something different. We're going to have to move in together. Again, back, get a cat, dog, uh, travel. I don't know. Uh, the same Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram page. It's like you're going to, this person understands that they're going to have to declare something. They're going to have to use their, uh, their verbiage, their words in order to, um, and also on a, in a friend group, in a circle, they want to claim you. They want to parade you around. They want to date you. They want to court you. They want other people to know too. They understand that if they come, if you two come back together, they're going to have to do this with you. They cannot, um, no longer hide you or keep you a secret or, um, kind of keep you in the shadows. Some of you can have a lot of victory, success, and in and, and cause 
for uh, celebration and triumph in your career and finance sector. Because there's, there's going to be a lot of people patronizing your business, whatever it is you do. Um, you're going to be making money in your sleep. You're going to be the king of pentacles to where you're not concerned about money anymore. Money is working for you. Definitely not against you. There could be some exposure, expansion, exploration, enterprise in your business, in your career. You're taking things to the next level. You could be put in a leadership position, role. You're going to need to have systems in place in terms of your money. Where will it go? It can't just be that you know, you, you get your money, you spend it on everything that you want. But you're going to have to be systematic or you need to be systematic. You don't have to do anything. Do whatever you want to do. The Knight of Pentacles here says uh, there's a guardian angel um, guarding you, Aquarius, guarding your work. Uh, um, also helping you in terms of uh, being consistent, hardworking, uh, helping you understand payoff, risk, reward, work, reward. You don't get the reward without putting in something. So it's like some of you had to learn the lesson of that. Consistency also coming up. This is really good, Aquarius, um, especially for those of you who are in business, career. Um, let's see about this person, what they want to say to you. What does this specific person want to say to the Aquarius? that it's like yeah okay that's gonna drive me crazy okay oh all right so you see them flip out what is it they were in love with two people sometimes this could come out when somebody could just doesn't want to let the single life go but they do have love for you too it could be that they're in love with two people this could be you aquarius um Somebody's saying, look, I'm seeing through you. That could be you, Aquarius. You're seeing through someone. Or you saw through them. Somebody put up a facade. Yeah, they thought that they were... Yeah, you're seeing that somebody has not healed yet. You are not healed. You have not healed. They're angry that you may be... Aquarius, some of you might not take to this, this offer. If somebody comes back with an offer. Wow, these cards wanted to come out. Yeah, because you know this person is still playing games. They're still committed elsewhere. They're saying that they can't talk to you after 8 p.m. That's because maybe that's when the wife or the husband gets home. Yeah, hiding several secret affairs from you. This is somebody who's still keeping options open. They're a liar at best. They're miserable in their relationship, in their home life. And they want you to come and bring sunshine, happiness, rainbows to their misery misery loves company you know people don't just say that because it's it's cute but it is true okay um so for some of you don't even trust this person um i wouldn't say trust a person full on anyhow we saw that this person does want to come back to you and they don't know how to come back to you they want to reconcile with you they feel like you're the one that got away but i did not see a lot of offers in terms of what they wanted for the long term it's just more so missing your energy what you brought to them you were genuine they were disingenuous um think about it on the very base level if you were genuine or a cross watcher, you were genuine and the Aquarius was disingenuous, right? If there has been separation between the two of you, which one would want the other person back? Ding. The person who was genuine, not the disingenuous person. Because the person who showed up as themselves, open, honest, vulnerable, loving. Once they get away from disingenuous, liar, closed off, manipulator, they'll start seeing it for what it was. For, for what it really is and they're not going to want that person back but the disingenuous person is going to start seeing it for what it is and what it was too like damn that person was open honest loving vulnerable i want them back i mean it, it, it's really not rocket science all right so what else do we want to tell the aquarius it's 11 11 as we as i look at the clock let me see if you can see that mm, you probably can't Okay, let me just lock the screen. How about that? Boom. 1111. You see it? Nope, you can't see it. Okay. 
Come on. They want to see it. Okay, you kind of vaguely see it. Boom. So, 11 11. Make a wish, guys. This is very well coming true for you. It looks like you're just smashing it in career and finance. Um, love is going to come once this person really lets you go. You really let go of the idea of them changing. I don't know. I just got that for some of you. They have shown you who they are. All right. Let's see. What else do we want to tell the Aquarius? What advice do we want to leave the Aquarius with? The Eight of Cups. Yeah, you got you got to resolve to leave this behind. This this is not going to get you what you want. Finish up and move on. Some of you are going to be moving on into the unknown. Like, I don't know which way I'm going. Some of you are really going on this self-discovery journey. Um, and it, it, you're letting spirit guide you. You're being guided by the light of the moon. Not knowing where you're going to land, but knowing that you're in the right hands. Whoop. I hate that a word. That's a message right there. Um, knowing that you have to just walk away from this. This is not going to fulfill you. You're not going to get what you want. It's a tough emotional decision. But it's like you, you have to move on. And this isn't like one of those loud, you know, boisterous, um, you know, I'm leaving. You know, no. It's just more so like, okay, I see what this person does, who they are. I see what type of person they are. You know, I'm just going to. You know, quietly plan my escape. You know, I don't I don't need to be any other way than, you know, calm, collected about it. When people are calm and collected about making a decision, you know that person's serious. When that person's loud, crazy, want everybody to see them, they just want some attention. So Aquarius, hopefully you are the quiet, calm, collected person going on this retreat. It says retreat. Retreats. Because you okay, so if you had to retreat from something, it seems as if it could have been turbulent, drama filled. You weren't getting what you wanted. Your needs were not being met. There was dissatisfaction, discontentment, and and you know all the reasons why. Another person could act as if they don't know, but you know why. All right, let's see, Aquarius. What else do we want to tell the Aquarius? What else advice do we have? For the page of wands exploration wow this is really you going on a journey aquarius it looks like spirit universe is definitely guiding you okay a renewed sense of self the page of wands comes after the ten of wands okay let's talk about the ten of wands for a second so if we wanted to go in order you know sequence then it was that the in the ten of wands either you aquarius or someone else took you for granted they were a liar um, it, it could have even been karmic in the Ten of Wands, okay? Um, the the relationship could have been troublesome, dr drama filled. There was something that needed to be examined, but somebody just kept overlooking it and still holding on, still carrying the weight of the relationship. Somebody was a doer, and somebody just let the other person do. Get in where you fit in, Aquarius, or cross watcher. So it looks like now that is over. All of that energy had been taken for granted. Just somebody allowing you to do all the energy, all the work. That's over. And now you're coming out with a renewed sense of self. The page of wands. Feeling yourself. Looking good. Looking great. Getting a makeover. Exploring. Um, maybe even having a one night stand or just having a, a whirlwind love a love affair it may not last it could last whatever at this point it doesn't matter you have a renewed sense of self you also could be getting good news about business business matters moving forward um, some of you are into fashion again something about fashion beauty makeover looking good the wow the ace of cups can't make this stuff up the ones talk about self-expression um def okay redefining yourself in terms of how the world sees you um uh, personal appearance also so that could be really uh heavy in terms of what you're doing right now also it, it just love in the ace of cups love for self first all right um yeah love for self okay so love for self and then just being filled filled with spirit spirits um you know um grace mercy Some of you are really learning what love is. Some of you, again, back to business, you have a business idea that's going to be very, that could be very profitable for you in the Ace of Cups. 
Some of you are really taking all that love that you have for another person and really turning it in on you. Understanding that you got to love you as much as you love other people. You can't be so self-sacrificing. What else do we want to tell the Aquarius? The Three of Pentacles. Man, you're doing some real high quality work. People are just giving you money left and right. Patronizing your business, your opportunities. You're doing high quality work because you have mastered both of those energies within you masculine feminine and then you have the divine spark the divinity you know uh holding it all together uh so that you can get in that space of creation the threes are about creation the initial stages of success also wow wow Aquarius. um congratulations really um some of you may be oh well, i just heard or opening storefronts you could have a storefront Something about, um, I don't know, people walking through the door, storefronts. Shit. Wow, I'm just seeing so much stuff. Um, things are just working. Works. We just talked about reward, work. You know? Um, you, you gotta do the work. In, in Aquarius, it looks like you have done it. Um, superiors. Superiors. Uh, Higher-ups are seeing the high-quality work that you put out. And they're re rewarding you for it. I'm also hearing in a spiritual realm. Like they're, they're seeing the work that you're doing. And that you're trying to institute in this in this world. And they're just like, um, they're so proud of you. Congratulating you. Helping you. Keeping you. Hmm. Okay, so it's it, nine of wands. Aquarius, don't give up. Don't give up. Be resilient. In the face of adversity, in the face of delays. But it says don't give up before the miracle actually happens. Because something is about to happen for you. If it hasn't already happened, it's about to happen. Okay? Uh, persevere through. See it through. If you have to second guess a situation, a person, place, or thing, stay away from it. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. He's He's away from the battle now. He's looking back at the battle and wondering, should I go back and fight for that? Stay away right now. The nine of wands says that if you're single, you keep looking back at the past. Therefore, you can't even rest in the energy of present. You damn sure can't see the future because you're looking back. So some of you in that you're, you're wanting futuristic manifestations, but you keep looking at the past. I want a new person, but you're wondering about what the past person's doing, looking at their social media, looking at tarot card readings, trying to manifest them back by way of even think, thinking about them, doing something. I don't know. The door is still open. It says uh, in the nine of wands, you got to get to a place of really closing it. What you don't have here is the ten of wands. You got the page of wands, which comes after the ten of wands, and then you got the nine of wands, which comes before. So they want you to really drop this burden. That is this karmic lesson. And this could have been the karma that you created for yourself, Aquarius. It, you created it in the two of wands because it says in the two of wands, if you make the wrong decision, it's going to lead you down maybe a karmic path, path. And then in the ten of wands, it talks about karma, but it's the karma that you create. It's not like in the devil card where, you know, um, maybe there was a lesson to be learned or you were tempted away. It, it, it was just you made the wrong decision in the two of wands. You had two choices two opportunities maybe you just you went with the the flighty one because it's in the two ones it talks about having a real solid stable maybe even boring or mundane uh you know choice or decision and then you also have this really fun adventurous spontaneous um you know carefree uh opportunity and maybe you went with that one well we know where that gets you right All right, so um, I think this is good, Aquarius. Where are we? 30 minutes. We got to get out of here. All right, so I don't think I'm going to do 30 minutes every day for you guys. I don't know. I'll try. Hold me to it. Somebody say something, but be nice about it. If you don't see a reading for Aquarius every single day, um, just uh, comment under one of the other Aquarius uh, readings. Like, where is our reading for today? You know, I don't know. Be nice about it. Do not be an asshole because... I could be one of those too. And it's called the block button. Anyway, um, take care guys. Um, 
It looks like you got a lot coming in for you um, just because you, you did the work, okay? And Spirit is really proud of you. Uh, you got some people on the other side, too, who are really proud of you. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Keep in mind the 10-minute video recorded readings are on sale for $25. They're typically $44.44. Take advantage of them now. The links are below. If you took something from the reading, give back. Let the exchange happen. Buy me a coffee. The link is below. Buy L a coffee if you're feeling moved to do so. Uh, and do know that you can catch me every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I answer your questions and uh, I do a collective reading. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.